Hello, hi, how are you today? Hey, I wanna ask you, are you really tired and you're getting tired of it? You're not alone. I get tired too. Um, part of this is the season, but a lot of it's just not the season. It's because you need to slow down and you need to really assess where you are in your journey because the journey is gonna take a turn here for the better for people who have been essentially doing uh, the body work to get their body expanded. Now it's not always easy to recognize, but you're actually in a time of surrender. And some of these eclipses that are happening, the equinox, by the way, happy equinox. Equinox is equal parts of light and dark, right? But here's the thing is that Sometimes you're still looking at things that are your life and saying, how am I going to make these changes? The changes need to happen with your participation. You do get some say so. And this is one of the things that's really hard for people to understand and accept is that you have to be a bit like Goldilocks. You have to be like, that's too hot. That's too cold. This is just right. And it is a lot like putting your order in. But in order to unhook, detach, unplug from the old paradigm, it requires a bit of surrender. Do you know how to do this? Because surrendering really is allowing the divine to take over using your inherent divine connections and new connections that are here to essentially rig you up for your new life together. Okay. Now, what can't you do? You can't do some of the things that are intangible or out of reach, and yet there should be an expectation that, yeah, you can have these things. Yes, you can expand and grow. Yes, you can overcome obstacles and things like that. So what is it about this energy? Well, this energy has a lot to do with what needs to change, okay? Big part of what needs to change is people being passive, just kind of rolling over and just rolling with anything that happens instead of knowing where to set their energetic boundaries, how to do it, how to properly surrender, how to spell it out. And some people don't even know what they want. Okay. And here's the definition of insanity. You're doing the same thing, expecting that it's going to bring different results but it's not bringing those different results. So for some people, that's going to mean maybe in the next year, if you're married, you might be thinking, you know what? This marriage is on the way out. I don't know what to do, but I need to surrender to the fact that somehow this is not going to be the marriage I have until I'm age 90 or 100. I really can't take it anymore. What are the things that you're saying that I can't do this anymore? What is it that you cannot do? What is not sustainable for you? A lot of people who are, you know, on this journey like to talk about sustainability. What's sustainable? Well, what is not sustainable for you? Can you sustain karma? Can you sustain a karmic relationship? Can you sustain the things that your children have? that they've inherited from you, from your ancestors, from the other parents? Can you sustain your financial situation? That's biggie for people. And what if you don't know how you're going to let go of one thing and you're just like holding on with a death grip, like, how am I going to let this go? How am I going to let this go? I keep getting dragged down with karma. And then you're just like, I don't know how to do this. Come and join us. We still have part two and three of my Surrender and Your Sacred Grid webinar, and you will get part one, which tells you how to start and why we're doing this and how to utilize your new light body. See, this is the difference. We're not using the mind or the frontal lobe right here. I mean, this might as well be the size of a peanut for most of us, pretty much for all of us in terms of what we're truly capable of. But we try, right? Because it's all we've had to work with is like, let me think this through. Let me analyze it. Let me see what's going to happen. Let me do this, that. No. 
Time to start using your twin flame body for what it's really here for, to serve you, to heal you. What would your love life be like if you were healed, right? What would your life be like if you were rid of that narcissist and you could actually surrender and allow your higher self to whoop, unhook it and detach it from you? What would your life be like if your financial situation started feeling like it was getting on the right track? What would your life look like if you learned again and again how to surrender and say, you do it, you take the wheel, okay? And now this is a little different than Jesus because Jesus is not going to fix your A1C, you know, sugar metabolism stuff. You have to participate in that, okay? I don't mean to knock this for people who, you know, they've had success doing that, but it comes a time when the bar is being raised and the bar is being raised now to get on board with this and what it is really for and what it is really like to be able to do this, okay? What if you're planning a career change or what if you just can't stand your nine to five and you're like, my God, how do I surrender to this? I mean, I feel like I'm rolling over and playing dead. I don't even feel like that. I feel like I got hit by a car and I'm laying on the pavement waiting for someone to scrape me up and get me the hell out of here and rescue me. I feel bone tired. I feel tired of it. Yes, I understand. And I'm here to help. And please look at the links below or have coaching or have energy work. Please have an energy session with us or join to receive the activations in my webinar. So I hope that this has been helpful for you. Please share my video with other people, like and subscribe, share through email because that helps the algorithm, believe it or not. Okay, I hope that you actually um, are understanding that there may be more to your journey than you may realize, but there's some really good stuff that needs to happen for you and we want to help get that going. Okay, when I say good stuff, it should include all of those Venus stuff things that we want. Homes, money, love. I mean, maybe not even in that order. Love, money, homes. Or money, love, homes, houses, family, kids, the earth, everything, right? There is a fair amount of, uh, let's say, self-improvement in part of this energy of like balancing, you know, like what is, what do you choose? How do you choose it? How do you even know? How do you know the right guidance? Well, you're part of guiding the guidance with how you feel, okay? What are you vibing? And we are here to teach that as well. So I hope you join us. Um, you're going to find out about the dimensions, which dimensions support which parts of your life. And you're going to find out how to use some essential oils to do the heavy lifting and make sure that it is so much easier for you instead of right here. You can't do it right here, okay? It's insufficient. It's insufficient and it's not going to cut it. So I hope to see you there. Reach out with your questions. Check out my website, twinflamereconnection.com. Thanks so much. Have a good day. I'm Patricia, and welcome to my channel. See you soon. Bye.